A big question that I uh, often get from my students is, uh, are there any concerns uh, uh, about taking rapamycin for building, if somebody is interested in building muscle? Uh, sure. Because we know that mTOR is uh, essential for muscle synthesis. Even bodybuilders take actually um, amino acids, especially uh, protein shakes uh, rich in leucine, uh, yeah. which is a, a big uh, mTOR uh, activator because they want to build muscle. So uh, w- what are your uh, your takes on, on this topic? Yeah. So I would, I would first say just from a general perspective, this gets back to what we were talking about before. Every intervention has risks. Every intervention has side effects. And it's important to have as realistic a perspective on those side effects and risks as you, as you can. So that's true for rapamycin. That's true for every, everything else. Um, so in the specific question about rapamycin and muscle, I think this is really interesting. So as you alluded to, you know, there's a long history in the muscle biology field that activation of mTOR is required to promote muscle growth. And mTOR is a, I didn't get into the biology um, yet or when I was describing it, but, you know, mTOR is a central regulator of growth and proliferation. So activation of mTOR is associated with cell division, growth, and you need activation of mTOR to build muscle. So the simplistic uh, hypothesis would be that if you inhibit mTOR with rapamycin, that should counteract muscle growth. And I think many people predicted that if you treated mice or rats with rapamycin, they would get early onset sarcopenia. So sarcopenia is loss of muscle mass with age. The experimental observation is the the opposite. They actually preserve muscle mass, have better muscle function into old age. So I think the first thing to say is all of the data that I'm aware of, and there isn't much in people yet, but in preclinical data in mice and rats, all of the data I'm aware of in the context of aging is that rapamycin treatment at the doses that extend lifespan and health span preserve muscle function into old age. So that's not exactly the question you asked, but I think that's the most relevant one for most people who are thinking about using rapamycin in a sort of biohacking context. Another question would be, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, do you think this will apply also for people who are uh, exercising? I don't yeah. know whether these mice were sedentary or... <laughs> right. So I think that's, or, that's yeah, that, I think that's the question. That's the open question. So I don't think it would impact people who are, who are, who are exercising with, not with the goal of, you know, building muscle mass. If they're just doing, you know, regular, uh, uh, moderate level of exercise and not trying hard to build muscle mass... I, I doubt it would have any effect. I think the, the question is if you, people are trying to build muscle mass, which is important, I'm not trying to minimize that. I think that's very important. Um, would rapamycin at all attenuate that? And I just think we don't have any data. So what I can, what I can, what I can tell you for sure is I know many people, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say many. I know more than a few people who have been successful at putting on significant muscle mass while taking rapamycin. So I, I am, absolutely confident that rapamycin does not prevent people from gaining muscle mass. Does it make it harder to gain muscle mass? I don't know. Nobody's done the trial. So, so that's an open question. I, I think you could, you could plausibly hypothesize both directions. You could, you could hypothesize that, yeah, if you're really trying hard to build muscle mass and you take rapamycin, you might build muscle mass more slowly. That's certainly possible and seems reasonable. But I also think you could, you could make a case that at least for people who are over 50, Taking rapamycin, maybe transiently, might be beneficial in the context of putting on muscle mass because what you do is you knock down age-related sterile inflammation, which is going to counteract the benefits of exercise, potentially. So it wouldn't shock me if we found that, you know, maybe cycling rapamycin actually helps with with building muscle mass in people over 50. That's pure speculation. I have absolutely no data to support it. I'm just telling you, you could come up with a plausible model either direction. And I I think we we need clinical trials to really answer that question. And the final thing I'll say is my intuition is whatever rapamycin does in terms of helping build or, or attenuating building muscle mass, it's probably not very big at the doses that we're talking about. It's probably not a big effect either way would be my guess. Hey, Would you like to know how to use food as medicine for your genes? Get access to my free webinar using the link in the video description. I hope you enjoyed the webinar 
And if 